With the team in good form, it's a great opportunity to reach the World Group 2 playoffs. How excited are you about the week ahead? Well, it's always a great week for, you know, for, for lots of different reasons and the Euro-Africa zone uh, that we are in is notoriously difficult to get out of. of. Uh, we've been stuck in it for many, many years and there's not much margin for uh, error in it because you only play two singles and a doubles but you have to win four matches against four different countries in four days. So it's quite a tough thing to do. Um, but this year we have a buy in our, our initial group of four. There's only three in it and we have Georgia and South Africa which on paper look like two of the weakest teams that are there. And should we get out of that group, we'd play the winner of Group D, which has Belgium, Latvia, Hungary, uh, and Bulgaria in it. So it's a, that's a tough group for somebody to get out of. Um, but we would play, hopefully, that match to get ourselves into a playoff to get into the World Group, which has always been the goal for us. And we've got close a couple of times in 2012 and 2013 and not quite made it. But to get into that world group has to be the goal for us because that would then give us the opportunity to play not just against the top 15 other teams in the world, but to have home and away ties. And that way we can use the Fed Cup to really grow the women's side of the game because fans get behind team sport uh, much more easily than they get behind individual sport and women's sport as you know is always much less covered in the media by by the guys so I think there's so much that we could build around having home and away ties uh, in Fed Cup not just with the players but with women's sport and with the uh, with British team tennis uh, as a whole.